Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Session Renee. So for today, if you'd like to see how I achieved this look using a foundation that is way too light for me, Go ahead and stay tuned. You don't have to get a drink. You don't have to get coffee. You don't have to get anything because this is a very short video as you can already see. So just, just stay tuned and drop it in the comments if you like what I did in this video and if you'd like to try this method. Speaking of, if you have not subscribed to my channel, what are you doing? Go ahead and subscribe. We try to have a lot of fun over here. We try to keep it classy. You know what I mean? Hit that like button also and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing when I post a video. Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so let's start off with primer. My skin is already prepped. I did my skincare. My brows are already done. Um, I feel like I should have done my eyes off camera. So... I'm gonna do my eyes off camera and I'm gonna use this Beauty to Prime. This is the Dry Till Dawn Primer by One Size. And then I'll come back and show you guys the foundation that I'm using and finish my face on camera. Okay, so my eyes are done. I'm gonna prime my skin now. I was supposed to prime off camera, but I forgot, so. It doesn't really make a difference. I'm just gonna go ahead and prime. I'm totally breaking out. I heard that um, Glow Recipe toner is breaking people out and I was using one, like the travel size one, and I noticed that I'm starting to get pimples, so I threw mine out. It was a part, I didn't pay for it. I got it as a birthday gift from Sephora. So I threw it out and Hopefully these pimples will go away. All right, we are done priming. All right, um, do you guys like the eye look? I think it's sexy and just fabulous. So if you like the eye look, go ahead and drop it in the comments and I'll do an actual look and which palette I used. I'll do an actual video on the look and which palette I used. Okay, so let's get to the light foundation that is nowhere close to being my shade the foundation i have to show you guys is this tom ford foundation it is in the shade mocha 10.5 and as you guys can see this is just not my shade it looks a little bit like it's my shade but once I get to swatching, it looks like it's my shade, but once I get to show you guys what it looks like on my skin, you guys are gonna see that, oh, it's not her shade at all. So let me give it a good shake. And then I'm gonna go in with my Sephora foundation brush. It is the number 60. And let me do a swatch on my face to show you guys. That's two pumps. Look at that. That is so light that there is no way on God's green earth that this would ever match me at all. So the technique I'm going to show you guys today is how to make a foundation match you that's way too light for you. I actually bought this from Sephora. It was a blind buy, right? I didn't know what my actual shade is in the Tom Ford foundation and I tried to get it right I tried my hardest to get the perfect shade but I just couldn't find it I bought one before it was too dark then I got this one it was too light so like look at that there's no way this matches me at all but I'm gonna show you guys what to do to make this match you I'm gonna go in with another pump on my forehead Let's blend this out. This is a really good brush, guys. I'm going to put it in the description box below. So check out the description box for all the products. And I just love this foundation. I wanted to do this video because I was going to give this foundation away, but I decided not to because it's so beautiful. Like, look how pretty it is that just goes onto the skin like that. I, I can't have... I just can't have enough. 
I just cannot have enough of this foundation, guys. It's so pretty and it just glides onto the skin. So that's why I decided to do this video because I'm not giving this foundation away. I'm going to make it work. We're going to make it work, 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 work. You're going to see me everywhere, where, 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 where. Na, 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 na. We're going to make it work, guys. So look at that. There is no way this foundation is my shade. Like, oh, <laughs> let's bring it down a little bit under the neck. Are you guys ready for the secret? Are you ready for the big secret that I've been keeping from you guys? How to make your foundation match you when it's way too light for you? Because look at this. This is giving... Is it giving ghost? What is it giving? Drop it in the comments if you guys know what this is giving because... It's not giving what it's supposed to. Look at that. There is no way this can be my shade. So what I normally do is I go in with this powder right here. You guys know if you've seen my haul, I just bought this powder from Fenty Beauty. It is in the shade Coffee. And I just, it is like way darker than my skin. So if you guys want the foundation to match you that's way too light for you use a dark powder to blend it in let me tell you this will change the game for you totally just go over like just dip it in dip it in the powder knock off the excess and just tap it over your face do you guys see how do you see the difference look at this side and then this side. Do you see the difference already? It's already getting closer and closer to my skin tone. So you just want to keep doing that. I tried it with cream, with a cream contour or a cream bronzer before and it didn't work out the best for me at all. So that's why I wanted to show you guys this method with using the powder because using the cream contour it just doesn't work as well as because normally what you would what am I trying to say let me get my words together when I use the cream contour I used to do like one drop one another drop and then the the foundation and then I would mix it in to make it become my shade it still wouldn't be my shade so with the, with the powder what I can do is I can take it I can apply it and then I can build it up or down to make it match and it would be just seamless and smooth. Look at that. Do you see how that's like matching me a lot better? Yeah. So that's the secret that I've been holding on to. That I've been keeping from you guys. It's just perfect. And you can see the difference between like my um, cheekbones, my chin. Everything down here, you can see the difference from my forehead. Now let's get into the forehead. Look at that. Do you guys see that? So this is the trick. This is the trick that I want to show you guys. That's going to help you make that light foundation that you have been holding on to in your collection. That you don't want to let go of because it's so perfect. Get you a darker shade. Uh <laughs> get you a darker shade of powder setting powder or powder foundation and just use it to go over I prefer the loose powder because the loose powder you can go ahead and do whatever you want to do with it like it will spread better and it will blend better and it also sets your makeup in place look at that isn't that so much better? I'm still setting it in place with the powder. We're going to go. And you still get the smooth effect of the foundation. But the only difference is that now the foundation matches your skin. And you don't have to walk around looking like a ghost. You see what I'm saying? You picking up what I'm putting down? Gosh, look, look at the difference. I wish I could have shown you a before and after. But you can go ahead and click the video back. And then come back and you can see the before and after. It's perfect. It's just perfect. So yeah guys. That's how you would make your foundation. That's way too light for you. 
match your skin tone. Use a powder, use a powder foundation, use a setting powder, and go ahead and dip and apply. Dip and apply and go ahead and smooth it out all over your skin so you can get that perfect balance nothing too cakey nothing too rough and looking all crazy okay for concealer i'm gonna go in with my best skin ever from sephora collection in 38p and we're just gonna put it under there now that we're done making that thing you know blend how we want it to blend make it fit our skin tone we want to go ahead and finish our face and I want to show you guys how it actually brings the look itself together and make it just look so seamless and perfect. So that's why I'm finishing the, the look on camera. And as usual guys, I'll link all these products in the description box, everything that I'm using. So if we are foundation twins and you accidentally or purposely like I did, picked up the wrong shade well I didn't purposely pick up the wrong shade I accidentally got this shade but I I've been using it and I didn't want to return it so I'm gonna just show you guys how to make it work which I just did so would you try this tech oh stop would you try this technique? Drop it in the comments and let me know. Is it too much work? Would you rather just return it and not be a lazy <laughs> a lazy person like me? What would you do? Let me know. All right, let's go ahead and blend this in. I'm using a damp beauty blender. You guys can already see how pretty that looks, right? I know, I shocked myself when I did this. I actually tried this method yesterday word for the whole day my foundation stayed on nothing cracked nothing was running away from my face begging for mercy it was just amazing so i decided to show you guys this i cannot gatekeep i just can't i had to show you guys this technique i'm gonna go in with a brightening concealer this is in the shade 29 and it's also from sephora collection and i'm just gonna go in and i'm gonna brighten just a little dab dab under here and a dab dab under there and a dab on the nose and a dab on the forehead dab on the cupid's bow dab under the chin just little dots to make it a little bit brighter a little dab goes a long way okay now that we're done doing that i'm gonna set my concealer with my givenchy prism libre or people call it prisme Libre. I can't believe I've been saying it wrong this whole time. It's Prisme. Nobody corrected me though. I'm taking the same beauty blender and I'm just using it to set underneath my eye. Dab it in the powder. This powder smells so good. I don't know if you guys would be afraid to use it if you have sensitive skin. I have sensitive skin and I use it so... I don't think you should be afraid of it. It's so soft and just plush. Stop! Every time I try to film, that's when people want to text. I feel like that's every YouTuber's nightmare. That's when people want to blend. That's when people want to text. That's when people want to do all sorts of shit. Perfect. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in with that same powder but we're gonna concentrate it on the areas that are supposed to be contour because it's so deep and dark you want to take the same powder and you want to put a lot in one place do you guys see that do you see okay that's all i gotta say you don't even have to use a cream contour you can just go ahead and use the powder and this will make it last so much longer so what this is doing is blending everything in and then we're done I'm gonna go in with blush now for blush I'm gonna go in with my house labs um, blush in lavender blondie that's what it looks like it's very pretty guys look at that it's so washed out on camera, but 
I hope you guys can actually see it. This is not a blush brush. This is a stippling brush. But who really stipples? Who really stipples? That's what I would like to know. Do you guys see that? Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. When you think you have enough blush, put on some more. Because that thing is going to disappear. Alright, that's it for blush. Now let's go in with highlighter. It's going to be another House Lab product. And it is going to be Fire Opal. This is my favorite, favorite highlighter. Look how beautiful this is. Let me give the camera some time to focus. Look how beautiful and orangey and just... I see greatness in this palette. Ooh! Yes! And it matches the eyes. Come on now. Talk to me, talk to me nice. This highlighter is just everything. Let's put a little bit on the nose. The tip of the nose. The bridge of the nose. A little bit on the cupid bow. Under here. A little bit on the forehead. Ooh! It's just perfect, guys. It's giving me perfection. Now let's do lips. I actually want to go in with this. Um, it's Dark Horse. Let me make sure that's what it's called. Yes, it's Dark Horse from Sephora Collection. And it is their creamy lip pencil. It's in the same line as molasses. I uh -huh. feel like you didn't want to open. Yeah, let's go. And I'm going to line my lips. Oh gosh, guys, this is so pretty. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, this lip liner. 10 out of 10. And then I'm going to use... Um, what is this? Hot Chocolate by Fenty. For a setting spray, I'm going to go in with the usual, which is my Charlotte Tilbury and my One Size. That cannot be good for you. Do you guys see how this is just matching me completely now? Yeah, so that's the trick. That's all I wanted to share. A very short video, not too much, just a little bit, you know, nothing too crazy. I'm gonna take my hair out with a nice little brush. And that's it. All right, guys, that's everything I wanted to share. It was really not much of a secret, but I wanted to say it's my little secret, just in case you've never tried that method before. And um, yeah, guys, that's it. I don't know. I don't really have anything else much to say. I'm your girl, Sasha and Renee. Thank you for tuning into my channel. Don't forget to hit that like button. Drop your comments down below and hit that subscribe button. Also, go ahead and hit that notification button so you can be notified every time I upload a video because I don't want you to miss anything, okay? Thank you, guys. Have a blessed day. Bye.